This is the Axiom Introduction for Clinical Faculty and Residents on Charting Patient Examinations. Items covered in this training include begin charting, drawing on teeth, adding supernumerary teeth, period charting, and adding PSR scores. Once you have selected your patient, you can chart the patient's exam findings using the Axiom Odonogram. To access the odonogram, select EHR from the fixed left navigation menu. Click Add New Record icon. Under Quick List tab, select Findings. Select the appropriate category for your findings, either conditions or materials. Chart the age of teeth and missing teeth in the odonogram. Click to select tooth or teeth. Right-click anywhere on the tooth. Choose the age, change, or missing options. Highlight the conditions category to chart conditions such as caries, positional, and orientational conditions, etc. Highlight the materials category to chart existing materials found from past procedures, such as sealants, composites, crowns, and other. Single-click on a finding to jump to the code subtab. Select tooth or teeth surfaces. Click on the Add Finding icon button to add your finding. Once you have added your findings to your chart using the Add Finding icon, close the window by clicking on the small gray X to close. Drawing on teeth. You can get even more detailed when charting your exam findings by actually drawing on specific teeth. To draw on the teeth, right click on a tooth inside the odonogram to select the tooth. Choose Tooth Details. In the Detailed Tooth window, uncheck Enabled. Use your mouse to rotate the tooth to view all surfaces. You can select a drawing color from the top drop-down window to actually paint on the tooth. You can paint single lines or selections of the tooth surface by clicking on different areas of the tooth. When done, click OK and the tooth will appear in the original position with the drawing added. Occasionally, you will need to add supernumerary teeth. Axiom allows you to easily add supernumeraries as needed. To do this, under the Quick Lat List tab, select Findings, then select Conditions. Expand the Others Conditions option, and then double-click on the supernumerary. Manually enter the site number in the site box using the following ADA CDT guidelines. For a primary tooth, add S character behind the tooth designation. For example, an extra tooth next to C would be CS. For a permanent, add 50 to the tooth number. For example, an extra tooth next to 29 would become 79 for the site. Click on the Add Finding icon, then close the window by clicking the small gray X to close. Perio charting takes place in a separate Axiom module, but is displayed within the EHR module. With the patient selected, navigate to the Perio chart module using the left navigation menu. Click on the Add Record icon to start the exam. Within the Add Perio window, choose the exam type. Click on Save. When recording any condition, the value to enter can be selected from the keypad in the Axiom window. Conditions can also be recorded using your keyboard. For pocket depth, click on the PD selectable area for the first existing tooth. Enter value for each surface using the keypad at the top of your keyboard. Axiom will automatically advance to the next surface or you can advance using your keyboard arrow keys. When recording bleeding on probing, record bleeding only where it occurs. Click on the BOP selectable area for the first surface with bleeding. Click the B key on your keyboard. Use the right arrow key to move forward. Record gingival inflammation only where it occurs. The tooth may be missing. Up to three measurements for facial surfaces and only midlingual on lingual surfaces. For the gingival index, click on the first facial surface with the gingival inflammation. Use the key descriptions to determine the values to enter.
for each surface. For example, click Control-1 on your keyboard. Use the arrow keys to advance to the next surface with inflammation. Record plaque only where it occurs, up to three measurements for facial surfaces and only midlingual, onlingual surfaces. Click on the first facial surface with plaque. Use the key descriptions to determine what values to enter for each surface. It's important to save your perio exam periodically. If a student finishes and no faculty are present to approve completion, they can click Save, then click on the red X in the upper right corner to exit. No perio charting provided by a student will appear on the odonogram until it is approved by an approving faculty provider, but the data will not be lost. When the faculty is present, Reopen the period chart by clicking on the period chart icon. Click on History button and then click on the correct exam. You will see a list status as incomplete. You will be asked if you want to resume the incomplete chart. This window lets you reopen incomplete charts by clicking Resume. Incomplete charts can also be accessed by clicking on the Add Record icon. You will be asked if you want to resume the incomplete chart. This window lets you reopen incomplete charts by cl clicking Resume as well. Click on Edit or Review and make any changes necessary. Then click Complete. Faculty will then scan their cards or badges. After faculty approval, the pocket depths will display in the odonogram within the Perio Chart module and the EHR module. The chart will no longer be editable. To add PSR scores to the Perio chart, you'll go into the Perio tab of the EHR module. With the patient selected, click on the Perio chart module. Click on the EPR forms button and then enter your scores. Omitting, omitting this step will cause the PSR scores to disappear from the Perio tab. Click on the red X in the upper right corner to save and exit. To view the scores, go to the EHR Perio module. Once scores have been entered, they may be modified or new ones entered without having to enter a Perio type or a prognosis. When viewing PSR scores, close the EHR window between patients. If the EHR window is left open when changing patients, the PSR score displayed will be those of the first patient. Keep moving through the training modules to learn more about charting. You can contact the DCG EHR Training Coordinator to learn more about charting findings or documentation or any other elements of using Axiom.